Today I'm gonna be trying octopus for the very first time. I think, I don't know, I've been had it before, but today I'm gonna be trying octopus for the very first time at Disney's signature Topolino's here at one of my favorite resorts here on Walt Disney property, Riviera. But in the meantime, we got some stuff to do. We're joined with my one and only beautiful girlfriend, hello, Casey. Hello. You ready for tonight? I'm ready. We're gonna meet up with one of my best friends, Caroline. So excited, and I haven't been here since we stayed here. So yeah. I'm excited to be back and just be, eat some good food. Some you know, expensive like to food that. too, it's signature. Yeah. When we are dressed for signature, yes we are. Yes we are. If you guys were wondering, we stayed right on over there. I'll link it down below in the smallest Disney resort room. And it, it is small, but Riviera, as you guys know, is super duper beautiful. For those of you who do not know, Disney's Riviera Resort is inspired by the charm and elegance of Casey. No, not the charm and elegance of Casey, but the charm and elegance of the European Riviera. It captures the essence of destinations like France and Italy combined with the old world charm and modern luxuries. Don't ask me what type of voice that is, but it's just the voice of Kyle today. Some of you guys might not know as well, uh, Topolino, where we're dining tonight, means Mickey Mouse. I did not know that until he looked it up. Yeah, it means Mickey Mouse in Italian. Italian. Italian? <laughs> not Italian? It's not like my grandma. It's <sighs> not like my grandma would say. Guys, it's also really hot out today. It's it's burning up here at Disney. It is burning oh, up. Oh man, we Ooh, are in... sweaty. Yeah, you are a little bit. Yeah. We're already in summer. It it's stinks. summer. Olaf it wouldn't stinks. survive. He would not survive. He'd want to be, but he'd just be a puddle. <laughs> As we're walking on in, the architect is influenced by, I believe, Art Nouveau style. Characterized by intricate details, curved lines, and ornate decorations, the design elements create a visually stunning and sophisticated atmosphere. And yes, I did write that all by myself. Good job, Casey. You read so well. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm just reading the, the wise words of Kyle. Of, of me. <laughs> oh, me. Casey just walking so elegantly into... Uh, Riviera. I wish we were staying here tonight, but we're just eating, which is still the same thing, right? We're guests, right? Kind of, not really. This is what I said you would want in the, the vlog that I filmed in the Magic Kingdom. Do you want it? Of course I do. Are you kidding me? It's colorful. It's so nice. It's, oh, it's nice. It's, <laughs> it's a cup, a bottle, I should say, a water bottle. Of course I but want it. But you're not going to get it? I'm cutting myself off. Now, as we are waiting for a time to head on up to Topolino's, obviously there's some great views up there. There's custom made murals and sketches, classic Disney characters, giving it an artistic and sophisticated ambiance, offering a high-end dining experience with a refined atmosphere. You like these word choices? I didn't hear you, but yes. <laughs> That's where we're going all the way up there in 30 in 30 minutes and a few of you guys might be wondering if there's gonna be character dining tonight unfortunately that is only for breakfast but it is a higher end menu with some very interesting type things on the menu octopus obviously as one trying that for the first time like i said It's been, it's been a while since I've last done a pure uh, restaurant review around at Walt Disney World. So drop a like and if you guys do enjoy this type of video, say you enjoy it. Show me something that you guys enjoy it by either commenting, liking, and or. What's one other thing they could do? Subscribing Whoa. if you're new here. Look at that. Wow, I didn't even tell you that. <laughs> so good. I'm just so used to you saying that now. <laughs> you're so good. Thanks. A little bit about the menu of a Topolino's. It's got some flavors of Mediterranean, featuring dishes influenced by French and Italian cuisines. Guests can enjoy items such as handcrafted pastas, seafood, grilled meats, and delectable desserts. You may all be wondering, did Kyle pull out a dictionary for this one? <laughs> I, um, I sure did. I sure did. You're so good. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. I would really be worried if you hit the bird. Well, uh, I'm not very athletic. It, that The bird is very athletic. Throw it. Oh gosh, the whole Just go. Bird is crossed. 
you would have hit it. All right, let me show you how it's done. It's rolling. Ah, they got the bounce. Okay, pretty good. Oh, did we just get that on camera? Yeah, yes, we did. We did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think you're worse than I am tonight, huh? <laughs> you gotta work the spin. <laughs> there we go. Did you get that? Did you get that? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> no pressure, no one's watching. Boosh. All right, come on, you got this. I know you're athletic, come on. Three, two, one, the bingo. Oh, holy cow, this is never free. I really want to play bocce ball, but Casey's friend just came, so I don't know if we will be able to. I don't think you guys understand on how hard it is to get this. Someone is always playing bocce ball. It's actually 510 right now, so we're gonna head on up to uh, Topolino's. Perfect timing. To the right, to the right. I am drenched in sweat already. It's kind of bad. It is seriously like someone just turned up the, the heat here in Florida. It's it's getting pretty hot out. Nobody is really here at the moment. I think we're gonna get sat right away. Super nice. We're gonna get seated. No one's really here in the waiting area as well. It's super nice to see it during the light because Casey and I were here last time. And comment down below if you guys remember, it was super dark. Here we go. Does anybody know if this is like from the Skywalker Ranch? Because it says Skywalker. It very well could be, I think. It is. Are ready, ready? <laughs> Getting here at a very good time. You can also walk up here as well if you guys didn't know. Nobody's here. This is what we love. All right. Welcome to Topolino's. Oh, we're gonna get a good, oh, we got a good spot, we got a corner. Of course, guys, if you guys are wondering, I did make my rose. There you go. I love it, and he said it's for both of us. It is for both of you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So Here's a quick look at the cocktails with <laughs> alcohol. This is gonna be the drinking. I'm looking at flights here, draft beer, bottled beer, hard cider, but this is pretty much everything you get in the park, so I say avoid that and maybe just, maybe get some wine or champagne or one of the cocktails. We kind of yeah. just YOLO'd it and we actually ordered that Skywalker wine. It was $69 for the bottle. I just thought it was cool because it's actually at the Skywalker Ranch. That's what they said. I don't know. We might be wrong here, but it says Skywalker, so why not, right? I really like our server. He actually asked for each of our names. What? You look so beautiful. <laughs> Stop. You're distracting me. Just cut. Go for it. The lighting's so good. Do I start over? No, I'm going. All right, here we go. Let the fun begin. Here's a look at her. I did that squeaking out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I feel like I have a lot of pressure. I gotta try it. Cheers. <laughs> Disney, like always know, tell us, we have no problem changing it. All right, we cheers forgot. to um, uh, the Galactic Star Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what we should be choosing. All right, cheers to, what cheers should we choose? Cheers to your friendship. Uh-huh, I like and that. Caroline, Good line. yes. Welcome back, Caroline. <laughs> Thank you. It is uh, very smooth and has kind of a very flavorful type aftertaste. It goes down very, very smooth, but let's take a look at the menu here. So our server actually recommended the duck and he said this is by far one of the best appetizers on the menu or starters, Topolino likes to call it. So I think I'm gonna get a duck as well with octopus just in case I don't like the octopus. Um, we'll see what Casey gets, but I know I got, um, actually I got the rigatoni I think last time, but I'm gonna get the filet this time. And we'll see about the enhanced enchantments. That's some happy bread. Happy means wheat. That's kind of shaped like a wheat star. And we have a French olive oak with Jean Reno. Have you ever heard of him? Mm -hmm. No? If you Google his name and look at a picture, you might be like, oh, that guy. He's a French actor. He's been like Da Vinci Code, Godzilla, Mission oh. Impossible. The display of this bread is supposed to look like wheat. It's really tasty and it's really good. If you guys recall from the last time here. 
they couldn't have gotten a better spot because the lighting is amazing. But um, I just kind of like this bread just because it it's so much different than anything on Disney property, just with the display and most importantly the taste. It's also really light. That is quite the visual. We've got the tentacles of the octopus. We're about to eat octopus. I've never had this before. I thought it would come with some dipping sauce. It doesn't come with any dipping sauce. I got a leek and celery soup. It's, it's green. It's green. It smells good. I don't really know what else is in it. And then I also got the ricotta, with, which comes with more bread. And then it has some other sort of sauce. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this octopus actually smells pretty good. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but I'm thinking this actually looks pretty good. And their server, Esteban, is... It's Esteban, right? Esteban, yeah. Esteban. First of all, love that name. Sweet Life in Zangahoe, love it. Um, it looks good. He said this, if you, uh, you're you gonna like this, you're gonna hate every other octopus you try. So supposedly it's really good, so let's give it a whirl. I don't even know how to eat this. I am genuinely impressed with the smell of this. I'm going to use a fork and a knife to eat this. I'm going to start with the charred end, like something really small. Let's give it a go. Supposedly it's really good, so let's try octopus for the very first time. Here we go. In three. I, I feel like I'm Cody from like that when he gets stung. In three, two, one. We're going to try the octopus. That wasn't bad because it was charred. I want to get more of the tentacle where it actually has some the suction cups. Sounds disgusting to actually say. The suction cups, are they called suction cups? Tentacles. Well, this is a tentacle, but what is the suction cup thing called? Yeah, we're gonna call it suction cups. Here we go. It's really not bad. How's everyone doing so far? It's not like it's like it's charry, but I gotta try. I gotta get to the thicker part to see what it actually tastes like. We'll see how I feel on this next bite, because this is like kind of disgusting looking. It's like chewy. This might be bad. Oh my god, I'm eating octopus. That was a little different. I don't know. I don't think it's for me, but it just, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. This looks absolutely bizarre eating. Like, I can't believe I'm eating this. Like, this up here is just weird. This down here actually tastes good. This tastes good. This is, I gotta grow on it. But it's not as bad as I thought. I'm actually gonna eat some more of that char in because it was actually delicious and it was $19, so I wanna eat my $19 octopus. I don't know, comment down below if you guys ever eaten it, but it, it doesn't taste that bad. Anyways, I ordered duck, so I think I'm gonna let this rest. Yeah. How, how are you feeling? I'm trying my best to keep keep calm here. I'm really proud of him for being so adventurous, but just like seeing him eat it is making me a little queasy. I'm trying not, yeah, it's how he's describing it is, it's not selling it for me. It's not selling it for me either. <laughs> you did a good job. I'm happy I tried it, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. okay. I'm gonna stop eating so they can actually eat. No, you can, can eat. Can, you no, can eat. I don't want to eat it anymore. <laughs> Look, they actually included the net that caught the octopus inside the plate as well. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow, that tastes amazing. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, here's the duck, and supposedly it is phenomenal. It looks cool. It kind of looks like candy in a way. I don't know. I like it. We'll give it a whirl. For the record, we couldn't get Casey to try the octopus for $100 again. It didn't work, but here's the duck. I don't even know the last time I had duck. We'll give it a whirl. We're being adventurous today, which is, which is good. Mmm. You want one? <laughs> it's delicious. He came over to see my first bite. It's really good. It's got a lot of flavor. It doesn't even taste like duck. It tastes more like, like uh, 
pasta to me. It's got so much cream inside. Like this, this is a must. I'm sad I didn't get this last time we're here. It's, it's really good. Casey is not about anything that I'm eating, but it's the leek reduction and then the the sherry reduction that. Wait, didn't I say reduction? Leek cream. That is amazing. And then the sherry reduction. Flawless. Must get, even if you don't like duck. It doesn't taste like duck. It tastes more like pasta. A lot of you guys might know that I am not a soup lover. But, like, I like it, but it just reminds me of being sick, so I don't like to eat it. All right, Casey and I decided to split a meal. We never really do this, but we're doing it here. Um, we've got the filet, and it looks phenomenal. Look at the melted butter. You can smell a little bit of the grill with the char. The plate is super hot with the mashed potatoes and asparagus. We're gonna give it a whirl here. Holy cow, feel how hot that plate is. Isn't that warm? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, let's give this a bite. I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering. Supposedly this is one of the best fillets on property, so let's give it a whirl. I think the face says, says it all. The char is good, the taste is good. We got it medium. Now there's not that much flavor as meat and rare, obviously. Mm. Incredible. It really is. The char, there's so the much char, char. It adds so much flavor. Now there's not too much char, so if you don't like char, don't be worried, but there is a predominant taste of char. Dinner was a, a 10 out of 10, as you guys would expect. Besides the octopus, I give that a 5 out of 10. Could be worse, but you know, those burnt ends were great. Um, it, so it wouldn't be a uh, dining review without dessert. Here's a look at the whole menu. They have dessert wines, and I love dessert wines, but holy cow, it's 41 bucks for a pour, a three ounce pour. I could do that. I could do that. Do we make it that? We are uh, going to get Fruits of the Forest, and it is a vegan dish. I, dish. I was going to get a dessert wine, but $41, $25, not really feeling it right now. Um, the cool thing is, after our dinner, we can actually go outside, and anybody can for that fact. If you want to enjoy the views, they have a nice little um, terrace area out here, balcony, that you can enjoy without a dinner reservation. be cool to watch fireworks, too. I think he said it, you have to at least get a drink, though. Oh, really? Yes. If oh. you, you want to just go to the bar and get a drink or something light, you can have access to this. Because it is actually through the restaurant. Or just use this small little hack. Pass the stand and say, I uh, just went to the restroom. My family's no. dining over there. <laughs> so this dessert, looks-wise, definitely gets, I'm going to say a 9.5 out of 10. You know, I can't do a 10 out of 10. But it looks good. Let's hopefully it tastes. I gotta be a little bit picky, you know? Gotta, gotta be a, no? It's a 10 out of 10. Okay, it's a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm out real here. Let's try it though. Let's let's give it a whirl. This looks. Oh, I'm I'm gonna, yeah, fun. go for it. Because I get a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Holy cow. <laughs> I've had her. Lots of flavors. A little bit more tart than I was thinking it would be. But really refreshing. It almost, it almost tastes like a soap, but like in the best way possible. Like it has like, I can definitely pick up on that hibiscus flavor. Yeah. Which is like a little bit soapy to me, but like I can taste the basil. The raspberry's amazing. I don't, I didn't get this. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I got that. Mm, that's good. That's what tastes like soap to me. <laughs> that's a soap? This one, that is much better. <laughs> that's soap? No, that's... it's not soap, it's just like it hint, like hints soap. of soap. All right, I got a little bit of everything yeah, and the soap. That's nummy. Doesn't taste like soap. <laughs> Doesn't you taste like soap. Some people think that like cilantro tastes like soap. No. Okay, well, that is a thing. <laughs> I think this dessert just like really just cleanses your palate after a full meal, you know? Like you're not looking for something like creme brulee even though they have that, but this is just so light, so flavorful, doesn't taste like soap and it's great. It's great. This thing right here is the best. Does that not taste like soap to you? A little bit, right? Okay, a little hint, but not really. Thank you. But that I got a really big bite of that the first bite. Mm. So that was overpowering. It's it does like not soap from the Grand Floridian. 
Yes, yeah. that is exact basin. 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 Yeah. Basin in a dessert. In a dessert. I guess if you don't like eating soap, don't order this. <laughs> it's basil, not soap, by the way. We're just joking. And now we get to do the best part and go outside. Well, not the best part. The dinner was the best part. And our lovely view of Riviera in an incoming storm. Also, you guys see that crane there? That is where they're dismantling all of the barges. I believe none of the barges are actually up. What's up? Sorry, our server came out and asked if I wanted the, the Skywalker bottle, but I did take the cork. Got the cork here. Maybe I should have taken the bottle, but... Um, the crane, that's where they're taking a, apart all of the barges, and they're actually all out of the Lagoon at Epcot now. We'll have to go there and check it out soon. Check, you guys want your picture? Yeah. <laughs> but the view up here really is breathtaking and everything. Hollywood Studios over there. Then we got Caribbean Beach down here. I've still never stayed at those neighboring resorts. Not once. Maybe upcoming, but I do know I want to stay at Universal one of these days. We haven't done that, and you guys have been winning it too. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for today's video. We're just going to walk around here, kind of just enjoy each other's company, but the filet was incredible. Top tier dinner here at Disney by far, one of my favorite resorts. It's just, I feel like I say that everywhere at Disney. I just love every resort, especially this one. It's just so so beautiful relaxing just a different vibe um but with that that's gonna be it for today's daily vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for tuning in thank you guys so much and see you tomorrow bye bye